Welcome to this beginner tutorial for v-carving. It's a simple v-carving project, so let's start in easel. We give it a name. Then we start by setting the dimensions of the material. It's 400 mm by 150 mm. Depth is not super important. I use painted MDF, it is a thin layer of white paint, so even a shallow groove is very visible. In easel I use two color acrylic, so the engraving simulation will be very visible as well in the 3D model. Let's start with the pony's name. Let's resize and center the name. Watch out that easel does not resize the background. Look at the size of the material, which is the dashed line. Then we will add corners. We will select them in easel's icon library. This one looks nice. The corner is actually a composite of smaller objects. To make our life easier, we do edit, combine to make it a single object. Now we can resize it as a single object. I want to place it exactly at 1 cm from the border. We tell easel to place the upper left corner of the object exactly at 10 mm from both sides. As the object is 400 by 150 mm, I place the upper left corner of the object at coordinates 10 mm and 140 mm. Now we copy and paste our corner. and we flip it vertically and we place its bottom left corner at 1 cm from the bottom of the corner of the plate so at coordinates 10, 10 Both corners are now perfectly aligned and in place Let's select both of them and combine them as one object We will then copy-paste this object and flip it horizontally this time. We now have both right corners as one object. Let's place its upper right corner at 1 cm from the piece's upper right corner. That's at coordinate 390, 140. We now have all of our corners perfectly placed and aligned. We now select all of the objects so we can set the depth of cut. A cut depth of 3mm is perfect to get through the layer of paint and give a good 3D look. But our 3D simulation doesn't look very good. This is because we are still set to use only 1 8 of an inch bit that cannot carve details. Either lets us use two different bits, our main bit will be a 3.175 straight bits, it will be used to clear the large areas. As easel doesn't know this bit, it warns us that we must review the cut settings. As easel is made for the X-carve, it is good to review those settings anyway with any bit you use. I set the setting to custom and set values that I know work well for my Aureus CNC. My spindle being more powerful than the one of the X-carve, I prefer to use a slower feed rate but a much bigger depth per pass. This gives me bigger chips and a cleaner cut. The bigger chips also evacuate more heat from the bit and this avoids burning the wood. We add a second bit by using the plus sign on the top right. The second bit is for carving the details, so we need a pointy one. I will use a 60 degrees V bit, which is perfect for V carving. Here too I will change the cut setting to values that match my Aureus CNC better. To make my life easier, I prefer to start with my bit at the center of my workpiece, not at the bottom left. So I select all of the objects and place their center at coordinate 0, 0. That way I can set the zero of my machine at the center of my piece. It will be clearer later on the machine. Now we only have to export the G-code for the CNC, we're going to Machine menu and select Advanced. As my material is very flat, I can safely set a smaller safety 8. That's the 8 of which the tip of your bit travels when it doesn't carve. 
Let's generate the two G-codes for roughing and finishing. And now the satisfying part. As you can see, I've set my zero point at the center of my material. That's the roughing pass with the 3.175 mm bit. The finishing pass with the V-bit is slower. In real time, it lasts about 35 minutes. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or remarks, please leave a comment. If you're interested about the Oreo CNC, let me know. I've just built mine, but I'm experimenting a lot with it. See you later.